group doing what's called an amendment to an amendment, so it's only the issue that that uh, council members raised. We go back to the amendment. Second, okay. Speakers to the to the uh, amendment to the amendment. So just to be clear, that we're actually we're only speaking of um, removing um, the hazardous waste increase that like elimination. That's what we're speaking of. We're not removing. Keeping up, so. um, I, I appreciate the gesture in, in reviving part of this um, this motion. I think one of the big issues with recycling is it's always too easy to sacrifice immediate interest uh, at the expense of the long term. That's how it always works. That's why we don't have these programs and why we're at the stage that we are. The timestamp on the Civic Recycling Program is 2013, which is probably about 30 or 40 years behind other urban municipalities. I need to see education going forward for this year. I understand this is one time, but I also recognize that getting rid of things is a lot easier than bringing them back. And education is actually one of the most instrumental components of advancing the environmental agenda and the, and the policy. So I appreciate that the most immediate concern that's sticking uh, around in this amendment, but we need to have a, a longer term vision. We can't just be just, I don't want to break the train thought, but this is on the amendment to the no, amendment. Fair enough. Yeah. Only the one one sliver which is speaking here, which is the hazardous waste. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. I, what I'm saying is that we need those other components in this if we want a proper green initiative, recycling, and waste diversion strategy. We can't forfeit those other initiatives. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Stevens. Thanks. Um, I can't put this either because I think they all need to be put in there because uh, the the first thing is I agree that when you, when you look at where does this stuff go, we need to have a proper place. And without a proper education, people still won't realize that. I was at the home show uh, about three weeks ago, and the city of Regina had a booth there, and they had a, a blue bin and a brown bin and a bag of garbage. And they asked people to pick them out of the bag what goes where. What goes where? Some of the stuff was this. It was household hazard waste. Some of it was there. They couldn't put it in the proper bucket. 50% of the people got 50% of the stuff right. That's only 50%. We need to educate, we need to show them how you deal with hazardous waste. Uh, tree recycling wasn't in there, but household items, uh, all of that stuff was in the bag, and they couldn't put it in the proper place. So where's it gonna go if we don't have a proper program? It's gonna go everywhere, backyards, it's gonna go in all different places, it's gonna go in ditches, I mean, you're gonna have kids walking out looking for bottles and grab them, you know, for the solvent, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I think we need them all, thanks. Thank you, Councilor Flagel. Now the speakers to the amendment to the amendment. Councilor Hawkins. Thank you, Your Worship. I just want to point out that this is a one time only. This gives the administration, uh, B gives the administration a, a chance to look at our overall disposal programs and come back to you with a uh, program as part of its core review, I presume, within the next year for the next budget. So this is not a permanent thing. This is a one time only uh, suspension of the collection of the program. Thank you, Councilor Council Massimo. Uh, I supported splitting the names because I think there's a lot of diverse viewpoints here. Um, I think there's a little bit more ease with the collection eco program, but I would like to say I agree with Councilor Flavel. Um, the amount we're saving on the on the uh, communication programs and the outreach programs can be far less than the
very uh, pleased to hear the discussion and you know, eloquent comments and, and uh, arguments, both uh, pros and cons. Um, for me, looking at this, uh, I see this as a, a one-time reduction. I want to go just quickly through a couple of, uh, of these to talk about why I uh, will not support the amendment, although I, I, uh, I love the, the, the passion and the concern about the environment, and everyone shares that concern, so I don't want to diminish those who may not support this to say they, they have a less of a concern. I think this is just trying to deal with a pragmatic issue today. Um, for the summer sweep, we heard that the downtown would say they, wanted to, they, they could do their part to take that over. They have machine action to do that. So to do that, that's a good thing. With respect to the to the um, collection depot program, we'll just make a lot of things with the amendment to the amendment. This is for, for one year only. Um, so I, I can I can live with that. With respect to the communication uh, uh, reduction uh, and the outreach to, to schools, again, well, for, certainly for the communication reduction, we have our, our ways to, to communicate that is um, free advertising by way of media releases. Uh, we drive people through our Facebook and, and other social media and our website. So if this was to be a, a more than one year, I would say absolutely not. But I would say, given that's one year, I can live with that as well. And same with the, with the outreach to schools. The school boards can be asked to continue to provide information as well. They're a partner. We can ask them, given how we're, we're fitting the pinch, we can ask them to please step up and use recycled material. Let them, let them speak about that as well. So uh, I'm not uh, comfortable with, with peeling away different areas of, of this uh, package and put, put forward by the administration. So uh, while it is difficult and there are painful decisions to be made, uh, I will not support the amendment. Thank you. Other speakers to uh, the amendment? I'll call the question. Uh, Get your hand up faster then. That's where she has you. Um, so can we um, keep make another amendment? I'm sure I'm not clear. Can we make another amendment to this or we can? <laughs> yes. You can do an amendment to the amendment to Okay. So um, I would like to do an amendment to keep this one. Okay. When they when they when they vote on this uh, C and D. Seconder for that motion. I think we all understand that. Seconder for the motion. Okay. Council Massanelli. Seconder. Speaker to the amendment to the amendment. I think it's pretty clear what you're asking for. I'll call the question on the amendment to the amendment. Must be quite an order. Quite an order. Uh, just wondering if we, have, if we could allow C and D, does that mean then we only have to vote on D and D? Motion? No. Well, we'll see what happens first. Yeah. Yeah, if it goes through. If it goes through, um, we would take those off the list. Take it off the list. Yeah, and there's only one. How could I do it? We voted on it in the package. Okay, thanks. Sure. 